From an overhauled sound system to new tile features, 0.8.3 is bound to change the way you DM your games for the better. So the new patch has entered beta, and while it's not an official release, anybody can download it. Devs have also said a full release is due later this month, so let's dive in and see how this release changes the game. Even so, you'll still need some scenes for the players to visit. Today's sponsor, the Mad Cartographer, has you covered. Every one of their 700 and counting maps is made for Foundry VTT, with walling, lighting, and ambient sounds. Check out this month's theme, Wizard's Choice, on the Mad Cartographer's Patreon, link below. The largest change coming in 8.3 is the complete overhaul of the audio system. Now that a new engine is handling the audio, we can expect much greater stability. I can't tell you how many times my audio crashed before, but now I've had basically no problem swapping through a library of tracks. Not to mention the new fade feature, which allows you to avoid abrupt changes in combat tracks. When you create a new playlist, you can now set the type of playback immediately on a new playlist creation, as well as the fade for all tracks within. Even better, you're able to bulk upload a list of tracks with ease. Lee's playlist improvements have made it so much easier to run your audio directly inside Foundry, rather than using a third-party application. But we're not done with audio just yet, as there have been a host of improvements to the ambient audio feature. For starters, the easing actually works now, and if configured correctly you won't even notice the point at which the audio completely fades out. Here's what it sounds like. When summer bid goodbye and moonlight Blood red fell from the sky, his ghost raised from- As you might have noticed, it'll still abruptly end if you go around a corner, though this can be fixed by making it a global sound if you don't mind the audio passing through walls. Other than that, ambient audio can also be set to only trigger in certain lighting conditions. Say, for example, you want a nighttime soundscape as opposed to a daytime one. You would do this by placing ambient daytime and nighttime sounds that both encompass the whole scene. Hide them behind a wall and make the sounds global. That way, even if your players walk around with a lantern, they won't randomly change the sounds to daytime. You could, obviously, just have two playlists that you would swap, but I'm sure there are other ways to make this feature useful. Overall, the new audio system makes it much easier to create a soundscape for your game. Now onto the changes with tiles, which have new options for being overhead. With these, you can set a tile to act as a roof that can be removed when a player enters a house. You're also able to change how the fade works and whether it affects lighting and vision as well. If you're looking for something a little more advanced, the foreground image feature lets you play with verticality on a whole new level when creating maps. Let's say you lay out the flooring and objects of a house, and then make a separate version of the map that just has walls, things hanging off of them, and treetops. This way, you can have the walls and things above the player's heads represented in-game. Its main benefit compared to overhead tiles is that it'll let you match dimensions perfectly, wasting none of your time trying to align everything. This is mainly an incredible feature for professional map makers, allowing for much more depth in their creations. Beyond the two main features of the patch, there's a massive amount of bug fixes and behind the scenes changes made to the codebase that'll undoubtedly pave the way for a more stable, efficient program and allow for bigger and better modules, not to mention the 1500 new icons being added for actions, spells, and skills. If you want to check out the entire patch notes, you can find them down below. Short and sweet today, subscribe if you want to see more, like if you enjoyed the video, and comment if you have any questions about the update. Shout out to my continued shout tier patrons, Modnar, Matthew Russell, Your Yeti, Demetrius, Meopenheimer, Nexus, and Smoothie Buns. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching!